Hello everyone, Trantier here. And Mike Mega here. And welcome back to The Horizon 2. So uh, in this episode, we are it, it is man versus nature. <laughs> our, our normal block of recording time is uh, being taken over by thunderstorms tonight, which is great, you know, dro rapidly dropping 50 degrees overnight. <laughs> Literally 50. Yep. Yeah, not exaggeration. And uh, so we are now dealing with the fact that it is still like 75 ish degrees and <laughs> our rooms are not meant to uh be in this kind of heat for long sure are let's see uh chuck the role model uh, oh hey I may, uh, a cure protester may have just dropped uh, uh let's see new cure protester just dropped oh, yeah we have the the dudes in the south plaza all right so we we should probably just go to the guys playing the board games and then we can sure. uh, yeah, run back and it should be time for the next story thing, I imagine. It's so weird that like currently my two projects that I'm that I'm working on with this channel are just completely fucking different. That's like, great every though. Sort of way. I, that's honestly like the spread on that is is what I like to see out of shit that I watch. Oh, you're uh, just hanging out in the corner up there. Oh, interesting. What the fuck? You were also uh, using Jedi mind tricks on that X. <laughs> you know, that's, it's, it's funny and it's also topical. Uh, <laughs> what I was doing just the other day, I, I downloaded Jedi Academy again. I was oh, like, oh, man. like, you know, we, we were trying to do that at one point. And oh, yeah. uh, so before we watching was... that single episode of Outcast you mentioned was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that fucking Outcast episode. And I, I can't believe how fucking evil I was. I mean, I can believe, but also it's crazy. Just how fucking it's wild crazy, I am. huh? It's <laughs> but uh yeah so I, I i last time we did it i you know just had a regular ass 16 by 9 monitor you know normal stuff oh, yeah. uh and i tell you uh trying to i was like, hey, like i'm gonna see if i can just like get it to work like with my ultra wide just using all the console commands and stuff and i'm just like you know what i think i'm just gonna fucking <laughs> just play this shit four by three next time or something god damn it's not worth yeah. trying to do all the fixes for the crosshairs and the the, the HUD that's, stretching. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Four by three. I mean, it looks good on a stream, I guess, if you're doing like a camera. <laughs> true. I mean, plus with I YouTube, know. you can just render the video out in that resolution, and it's just going to oh, be four oh, by yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah, I, I absolutely love what YouTube does with like resolutions and shit. You know, things and all sorts of them. Well, at least standard, anyways. <laughs> While these guys boarded up their board game shop real fucking awful, I'm walking in here and there are already two zombies in this fucking place. Alright, you fucking nerds, listen up. <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out of here. And I'm talking pronto, ASAP. Okay, this guy's speaking binary. I'm going to shoot him with my shotgun. I don't know what to do, man. This dude's speaking binary. He said to wait here. How about we don't wait here? All right, Brian. Brian Forskin, that's your name. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Brian Forskin, huh? This is the only refuge for our kind. You know, I, I don't I don't believe that. We got ridicule for our sense of fashion, but with our combined mental strength, we will soon rule all. Yeah, I doubt that. <coughs> now, do I have the to talk to every single one of type, motherfucker. Okay, did I not talk to fucking uh, Johnny Salami over here? Johnny Tsunami. That too. Is that, that's a movie, right? I, no, I'm thinking sure Johnny is. Dangerously. Is Johnny Tsunami's a movie. It's a Disney Channel original. My my brother. Oh, <laughs> what, yeah, that, that, that was, was the one that? with uh, Ichiban, right? Uh, is that Ichiban? <laughs> if I'm thinking, I'm a brutal boost a video of it recently, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the guy who just looks the the clothes. That's just Ichiban in like uh, a dragon. I guess, age. I guess, sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh God, so how many times Shang, the Shang fuck Sung you from Mortal Kombat? All right, you oh, see. professional rising. I've reached level fifty. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. All right, I got these stupid fucking idiots who wanted me to talk forever. Let's kick some ass. So hopefully they're good on their feet. Uh, yeah, we have to go into the bathroom of the Americana to trigger that psycho, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're good as long as I don't, you know, take a hard left into the bathroom over there. It's fine. I've, I've prepared for the boss fight. 
I think we can just do it. Even with these four bozos? Absolutely. Alright, you know what? I like your style. We're gonna fucking do it. I've gotta get there first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do the toy manor. Yes. Shortcut. Right, thankfully, uh, these guys are helping themselves when they get uh, <laughs> grabbed by the ghoulies, as as they say. Grabbed by the... Oh, I was going to say ghosts and goblins, but that's not this guy. That's the guy who plays poker later. We've already saved him. Yeah, but we're not going to be able to save ourselves from a shitty poker game. <laughs> sure we are. We'll just get all the gambling books all at once. Look, if they don't make this, this poker a roguelike... Uh, with a bunch of different God Joker damn. cards and whatever, yeah, I don't dude. want it. Bellatro looks really fucking good, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything like really about it. I just I literally saw something on Twitter and I saw some of that uh, we follow like praise it and I was like, yeah. So I was like, I was like, hey, coworker, look at this game. You might like it. Oh God damn it, Kevin! It's immediately on his wish list as it is mine. Yeah. <laughs> no. My legacy. Everyone's ready. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck these clouds. I almost didn't have that paddle saw in my hands. I oh, would've no. been salty. <laughs> Alright, everyone. On the right. Conveyor belt. Uh, are we gonna go beat up the homie? Yeah. <laughs> is that... That's not this restroom. Yeah, it is. Huh. Pretty sure, yeah, he's right over here. Okay. For some reason, I, I always thought it was on like the second floor or someplace. Soon we'll all be part of the change. Hey, buddy. You okay? With hair like that, he's not, Chuck. Chuck Green. We can't see this dude's face. <laughs> Made me think of Death Wish 4. I'm bored. Shoot it through his elbow. Thank you for showing me the way. I'm serious about 3,000 centipedes. My life has meaning again. Not the same movie. That's the same movie, <laughs> but, but from the same program reference. we learned about both of those four. Of you were yeah. <clears throat> what are you talking about? That is such a perfect line. Hey, man, I wouldn't lie to you about 3,000 centipedes. <laughs> <laughs> God. Especially out of any, well, it was already delivered out of context, right? No, I mean, there, there is context, like oh, some business sure. investor guy or whatever, but it doesn't matter because that line is just perfect. And this guy's been eating too much brown Play Doh and pushing it out of the top of his head. <laughs> they, they found the cure for male baldness. It, it, it's, it's like, so I'm it's almost kind of crazy to see like how I'm, I'm trying to use my words like not like a Twitter uh, game discourse master. Uh, I just how kind of like rough a lot of the light is on these models during these things. Like it's just like it's like it, it does not look great. I don't even know if it looked great back in the day. Right. It's dramatic. Who needs to, to think ahead and bake lighting onto surfaces? There. How many times right. we've played right, La Rocha. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I'm immediately dropping my. Oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> You're just kind of hail mary and everything, but you got him. Fuck yeah, Curtis is covered in blood. <laughs> oh really? I was like, I didn't even like Curtis just ran up on him, and I'm like, oh fuck. But I, I, I on my end, I didn't nick him, so that's uh, all good. Oh yeah, on my end it looked like that was totally intentional. Like you were just like right up in his face in the like corner oh, of the really? stall he was at. Yeah, you're just built, built different. You're just like that. I'm built different. <laughs> Dilt That's my different. name, Dilt Different. Chuck Green and his twin, Dilt Different. <laughs> they hate left ideology, so they killed Zack De La Rocha. They killed him. <laughs> 
there's enough woke in this planet. Zack Taylor Roach, you gotta go. Go to sleep, idiot. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna stand over here. Right, do I have to carry you, Vicky? I forgot. Or you came. Oh, okay. No, I, I think you're capable of going on your own. Oh, yeah, she's great. <laughs> We're gonna face the wrath of a bunch of nerds, though, after <laughs> after the battle saw incident of 2024. Oh, no, my LMG's out of ammo. Next time we go out to the, the strip, I have to go grab the other another one. I'm gonna try and, like, stand away from where people might be walking towards. Yeah, I know I should probably just, like, use the... the yell command to, like, just have people go so I don't have to, like, worry about them not getting over here. Yeah. But... Okay. Everyone's good to go. Not me. I'm collecting Bowie knives. <laughs> I got scared. It was a longer wait waiting for players than typically is. Oh, God. Yeah, and me dropping all my items and then the scene switching. So it's like all of my items are lost forever. Again. God, I was just like, are we missing one of these fucking idiots? But no, we're good. Oh. I think like two of them were just walking perfectly in sync with each other, so their health bars were <laughs> like covering each other. I just, I just Don't see you pick up a me. sign doing in your a little. Of, doing a bit of spring cleaning here. Yeah, you're good. You do what you got to do. We can edit around it. <laughs> yeah. I have the power of God. Yeah, I need to probably, like, get my, my shit in check, as they say. Uh, I think oh, I have more than plus 10 strength against zombies, John. Power Creeper's real. Uh, get what shit in check? Uh, just out of, like, some weapons. Like, I have, like, one knife glove, gotcha. a lightsaber polarizer. Uh, I, I don't know why. I always like to keep, like, at least, like, one automatic weapon on me, just in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I, I just stopped and grabbed a handgun in case I needed to oh, shoot sorry. at I something. I to go pet the cat. <laughs> and then Katie got eaten. Oh, I got an achievement for that? Oh. I guess I never did that for some reason, or we never watched that cutscene. If if we have to wait for Stacy to call us, well, she, just, well, she won't call us when we're here, right? We'd have to, like... You don't have yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just step back out then. As you moonwalk towards the exit. Hey man, never, man's got his hobbies, okay? Dressing like a ninja with military pants. It's tactic cool. More like tactic stupid. Also true. Oh look who? Oh, barn burner. Isn't that the the comedian who did that inside thing? You Barn know what? Burning. I think you're onto something. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab uh, some knife gloves. And there the should be goes. a knife above the yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I did grab it, but I don't know if it respawned. Yeah, it should respawn every it time. Did respawn. We, uh... Oh. Seven o'clock. Uh -oh. And it's not Dead Rising one, so there's not a cutscene of a zombie that looks exactly like Nico Bellic. Sad. I think it's crazy that these zombies just have an internal timer on them. It sure is. Uh-oh. Me taking a sly drink of water turning into me scrambling to play the game. <laughs> that was the best of us, you know? What weapons do I drop? These. Wait, I kind of want to make a, a, a blambo. A blambo. It's because I love or the like uh, a wambo. the root or the little like group clearing abilities of it. 
That's true. Oh, but first, some idiots gotta fucking die. They all suck. Yuck, yuck. Oh, there's still one left. He's gonna get punched out. I should probably grab that... I <laughs> I almost said different vowel. Uh, the flashlight. Grab the flashlight. Not anything else. The flashlight. Oh, there's still more of you idiots? There's a lot more of you idiots. Hold on. Are we done? No one else, please? I just recall, like, especially like in Dead Rising 1, I would spend so long, like, just doing all, like, doing new runs just to try to, like, you know, do the treadmills and spin the clothing racks, just, like, build up that experience so quick. Yeah. Classics. We're doing a lot all here, these assholes. I thought one of them had a flashlight. Apparently not. Bitch. Where's this skateboarding book? I thought it was in the sports shop here. I don't know. I don't recall. Yeah, yeah, uh, like like the second floor or whatever, right? Maybe I am thinking about Dead Rising One. <laughs> maybe maybe the I'll leave the, the bookstore on top of the uh, the coffee shop with the infinite orange juice for some reason. Yeah, just, do you remember like playing Dead Rising One for like, the first time and finding that like katana on the awning of that second yeah. floor cafe? Just like how cool that fucking was. You'd be like, oh my Absolutely. god, there's a sword up here. And, and, like, I'm thinking about the, the entire genre, not genre, like, the series as a whole, and it's like, it's not like they didn't do that, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's shit all over the place. Yeah. I'm gonna go combine some shit, and then I guess we can go run back. Wish I had a skateboard book so I could keep my skateboard alive. Oh, wait, we can, I can just fucking take the whip. I don't know what I'm complaining about. We're getting back to the same as a fucking style. I checked out the bookstore upstairs and there is a gambling book one, horror one, and uh, hand to hand. So no skateboarding books. The hand to hand book should let Chuck just walk on his hands really quickly, like doing a handstand. Like oh, wait, oh, you, lanky. If you have a, a paddle yeah, just go. I don't know why on my end your model was gravitating to my fucking car. I also just fell walking away from your the the the, the root of your car. <laughs> like when you watch the video back, you'll just you'll just see your your truck just go like, oh, like I have yeah. a fucking center of gravity in this fucking thing. God, I thought these mall cars weren't supposed to be like that good. You know, now that I think about it too, just malls in general. <laughs> Why cars? <laughs> <laughs> always just yeah how did they get it in there because like i'm like it's it's always such a thing that there's like a car you can win yeah in a mall shout outs to malls genuinely gonna be upset when they're dead by the end of this year literally there's so many like malls near us specifically that are closing down not to dox us i think this is happening to malls all over the fucking country uh <laughs> But literally so many malls, even the like the big ones that like all the kids would go to the Santa at, you know what I mean? They're all closing to be turned into like, out of whatever the fuck. It's very strange. Yeah, I'm not going to dox us any further, but did, we, we had like a, a certain incident at one of our malls. It, like uh, <laughs> the past few years, yeah, but, but involving maybe the. I, I was, thing we're I was gonna about. say, yeah, a certain comedian did some shit in there, uh, referring to, uh, well, I, again, I, I don't want to dox this any further, um, but yeah, no, there was like a, uh, like a, uh, uh, someone ran their car into the mall. Maybe they're just trying to figure out how they get the cars in. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. This is a conspiracy. It's a lead. These fuckers. Yeah, I think uh, this is when old Monster Hunter Page Buddy was working at that mall. At a Business. so there was like a live a live tweet of that situation as yeah, it was happening. Nice so just be careful, okay? For her sake. Well, I don't think it's just for her sake. For her sake. 
that's what you get when you're driving the hearse so damn much because you constantly have to deliver the dead bodies that Chuck Green's piling up. Now we get to go do underground railroad shit, but not quite. Oh, underground railroad, huh? I didn't know Chuck Green had it in him. <laughs> Look at me, this is just an allegory. <laughs> an allegory? I'm saying we lost the presidency. <laughs> Look, I'm losing my fucking mind in here. All right, it's it's already getting slightly it's just uncomfortable. Me too, dude. Twenty three minutes in, we're we're we are fucking cooked in more ways than one. Christmas goose. The other goose that shall not be named. <laughs> we're talking about the speedrunner. <laughs> yeah. God. Where are you going? That's a great question. I was going to go check the uh, the, the pawn shop, but I'll just go this way instead. Yeah, well, yeah, this is like Cletus and his sister. We're going to go save or something, right? Something like that. Cletus and his sister, yeah. yeah. His sister, specifically. Not his wife? Same sister thing. Wife, Cletus, Cletus, haha, joke. Okay, so he's, okay yes, Cletus, anyway. Dead Rising 1 reference. Uh, when I was... Wait, what? Isn't Cletus what? the name of the, the gun store owner? The gun store owner? Um, I forget. Biggest Dead Rising 1 fan over a year. <laughs> oh yeah, it was Cletus's, Cletus's gun shop or whatever the fuck. I don't know anymore! Fuck! I have no right to speak of this game. <laughs> Anyways, I was listening to some of the Dead Rising soundtrack. And man, like yes. the, the amount that they they fucking stepped it up for like the the mall music in this game compared to one is insane. Like, I feel like you're flying. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know. There's some there's some good beats, but I feel like like the five there's like only five tunes in that first game, right? For for the mall music, I feel like there are some that are really fucking good. Like, like, I don't know, like, I feel like, you yeah, know, like, there's, there's the, the one. There's the, there, slow, there's the one like, that we the all know. The saxophone one. Is that the one you're talking about? The saxophone? Or is that this game? I don't know why, but the mall music. Where have I gone? Jesus Christ. All right, sorry, uh, I, I'm still looking at uh, random bullshit. You're going jumps. the right way. Okay. Okay. Um, but I, I feel like I, I've conflated the, the mall music from this game and the first game because. Uh, uh, does this game reuse the mall music from the first game too? Because if that's the no. case, then that would make sense. I believe it, well, then I, believe I don't these fucking have, know. They're, they're two different, uh, or two different sets. Because I feel like like there are some like there's like a good one or two in, in Dead Rising One, like really good. But I feel like the overall quality, like the average quality well, of them, is sure. better here. And uh, there's some fucking jammers. It's like some obvious, honest, straight fucking jammers. There's no car key here. I feel fucking betrayed. Hold it. Uh, I would like to issue a formal apology to Mike Mega for being wrong. Also right, but wrong. They're, they're both good soundtracks. Anyways, roll the evidence. Yeah, I don't know, because, like, yeah, I mean, obviously they, they have more songs instead of just, like, the five that are in that first game. But I feel like the five that were in that first game did what they did correctly by spanning, you know, genres in music. And it, did, I don't know, there's, like, that there's like that house track in the first game, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, that's uh, excellent. It just, it just reminds me of, like, early 2000s, you know, queen shopping shit. 
like, I don't know, teen girls voguing in their Forever 21 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just it, It's just such a perfect, like, mall vibe for me. Although, you know, yeah, the, 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 I... I, I all, all I'm saying is I cannot speak ill personally of the first soundtrack. Oh, yeah, like, I don't believe you speak ill on it, but it's just like, like when I was just listening to them, I, was like, I can't yeah. compare. I'm okay, not, spe yeah, yeah. I'm not speaking, yeah. I can't compare that this is any better. I feel like the first one rips too. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to, uh, at some point, maybe send you the, the link uh, to purchase, of course, uh, <laughs> these soundtracks yeah. in high quality. Would love to. Capcom needs all my money. Okay, it's Elrod and Trixie Lynn. Uh, there's, there's no Cletus here. Nathaniel and Superfly. Let's, let's, let's go, idiots. And your mullet. Thank you kindly, partner. Get someone hell. Let me, let me not forget to skip dialogue when we have it. Enjoy listening to my AC every time I hit that button. <laughs> Did they join yet? Trixie Lynn has to join after hitting on you. Yeah, real party on. There we go. Jesus Christ, you guys suck. Come on. <laughs> I, just, I just see this, this Chuck sliding across the floor. Where did you go? Uh, I'm, I'm heading back out towards the entrance now. <sighs> I didn't even see you, like, go past me. I guess we should... Should we just go through Americana? I think that'd be sure. better. Yeah. Perhaps. Look at me, I'm, I'm just like a promotional material for Dead Rising 2. <laughs> this reminds me of the time I had a paddle saw. <laughs> you know, if they, if they made a Dead Rising today, do you, do you think they would just kind of like go to Bandcamp and like, uh, like just try to purchase? The rights to use like one of those uh like vaporwave mall aesthetic albums for their soundtrack for the mall that's an interesting question and i would hope that they have the correct assumption to not do that because like vaporwave invokes a mall aesthetic that never happened you know what i mean yes i don't know i, I, I just like, that'd, be, that'd be that'd be interesting like, that'd be an interesting like like uh alternative reality i guess but i feel like there's too many there's already probably too many games that invoke that vibe no hate on vaporwave obviously but i've, I've heard uh the self-proclaimed king of vaporwave speak very ill on mall core in a very annoying way when he's taken the 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 reins on vaporwave in a way where the person who invented it's still very active and also not getting very much attention for some reason Shout outs. Shout outs. Shout outs. Vectroid. Go listen to their music. Still good. <laughs> um, and I'm going to say it. Pure, pure diss to George Clanton. Can't stand it. <laughs> the per it. Personally. The say it loud for ones in the back. If you, the 100% electronica. The 100% electronica uh, 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 label. Garbage. Just posturing white kids with a lot of money to throw around and 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 you know they're doing the indie label thing right they're they're paying to to put out their merch and their their you know physical copies of shit i couldn't care less i want to elevate people who actually care about their medium i'm yeah, saying as it. a side note with someone who doesn't really have a horse in this race uh <laughs> they, just give me another album with with nick hex in the mix and like you, you're probably absolved of sin this is brought to you by a fan of Nick Hexum's voice, and that, that's that, yeah. that guy's from Three Eleven. In case you don't know, yeah, who did he? He worked on stuff, something with someone, right? I mean, I forget. him and George Clanton did an album. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, we gotta go to to Wiley Travels. Yeah, like again, I can't diss George Clanton's music. To be honest, some of it rips, which is great. I just, I don't know. I'm not interested in supporting another poser. <laughs> I can't say poser, but he did an interview I watched where he was speaking very ill of, of, you know, the kids out there who are making mall core, and he's like, that's not, like, that's not real music, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, vaporwave guy? Like, they don't, they're, they're, they're not using guitars. We, we learned about how it's not real music in 2010. 
It's, and that's just annoying. It's just, it's just, a, it's kids with a fixation on a specific genre making that shit. Like, that's good shit. Who gives a shit if it's, like, your definition of vaporwave or not? Like, that's just stupid gatekeeping nonsense, and I'm not here for it. You should get turned into vapor waste, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> vapor waste. Honestly, that is, that, that's a, that goes hard. Vapor waste as a, as a genre, genre signifier of something that's not to be taken seriously and is literally dumped out like that. Vapor waste is, is so good. <laughs> if you want to talk to Jared, I'm going to go grab dynamite. What the fuck? I don't think I want to talk to Jared. <laughs> You'll see how much blood came out of his neck just walking up to him for no reason. Do you think that Jared ever gets tired of people saying, He went to Jared? Remember, remember, remember those commercials? Remember the 2000s? I think, uh, I think uh, yeah, I think in this era of when this game released, he was probably very sick of it. Or maybe still getting like referred to as the guy from Subway when because uh, this is pre scandal. Yeah, was, uh, it, was this pre scandal? <laughs> Absolutely. This game came out in like twenty what? Twenty thirteen? Twenty ten? Yeah, the scandal happened like within the last five years, I think. Okay, because like I, I like I like always forget when that like blew up and when it happened, you know? Yeah. Are we going straight to the safe house? Yeah, I'm just uh Okay. Uh, mixing. Yeah, do what you gotta do. I'm, I'm, I'm mixed I've, up I've offered drink. Jared my shoulder. We currently don't have any Zombrex though, just so we know. Jared Good needed some, comes. and I gave it to him without thinking about your daughter. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, next time we go out to the the strip, I will just go buy it from there. In fact, I'll just go buy it from the the shops. I think it's by me. Buy me. There's in the middle. The shop is in the top floor. Yeah, top. Oh yeah, I think it's in the middle section here. Ah, uh, right. I just I just ran into a non-moving zombie and got stunned. God, I would love to internalize the layout of these malls in uh, VR. Yeah, I'm just realizing how, like, like being able to look up at the second floor and internalize exactly where above you a store is. I, I need that. What not? Because the thing about PS, P, uh, PSVR 2 is the fact that it has, like, proprietary software to, to handle tracking and, and all that, which is handled by the PlayStation 5 for the PlayStation 5. So they would have to get that working for PC. And like Steam has its own like tracking situation for you know Steam games. Valve has, I should say. Um, so I don't know how that was is going to work out, but I'm happy that there's an effort being made in that regard. Because goddamn, do I recommend PSVR two? Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I, I just. Whenever I play PSVR two, I just, I miss my index controllers because those controllers are fucking great. I That's do true. Not like, I, like I, I do. I, do, I mean, I do like the PSVR two controllers just because it's nice to just have a squeeze button rather than because like I had a lot of issues with the touch sensors on those index controllers, like figuring out when I'm grabbing it and when I'm letting go. Like it wasn't as accurate as just having a big old squeeze grip button, which is nice for me, but. Um, that's just because I probably need to like fit them on my hands better. But it is impossible to put your hand in a PSVR 2 controller when you're not looking at it. Because yes. there's like three ways to stick your hand into this fucking orb. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a nice looking design, but yeah, it just doesn't it doesn't set down well to to grab them from a seated position. I don't know. But that's just you know a theory. No, that guy's uh, retired now. Didn't you hear? We can't make references. Is not existent anymore. Can't believe that the universe ate him up. Yeah, oh, just, time, like, uh, just like Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> you ready to tell someone to stop being in the kitchen? Let's go. Um, yes. We're talking about Mr. Butter. Oh, oh, yeah. Whatever the fuck his name is, I don't know. Antoine. Is that what's going on? Over yeah, here? yeah. We're about to go fight an idiot. We were gonna go do the other thing, but then this popped up and I said, we're gonna, kill, we're gonna kill this guy. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm at least glad that the sun is a bit further away now. When we started recording, uh, the sun was like directly like hitting me in the eye and my monitor, but uh, yeah. I, I was not putting my blinds up <laughs> with the scenario we're in. Fucking vibe. Revenge in 8 or 7. We just said half man, <laughs> half milf. Man, I'd like fucking. Who wouldn't? 
uh, that Kier member we killed. True. Zach Taylor wrote Impossible. You. That's what we call a vol cell. Hey, Mario, you got a little spaghetti on your overalls. <laughs> Fuck you, Luigi. <laughs> Man, the, the cuisine king looks different than I remember. What? Well, you're, uh, you're a little bit late. But it's good you finally made it. I love Italian fingertips dipped into my soup. <laughs> That's extra seasoning, you know? Or French, rather. He's a... Definitely a southern French cooking guy. A bit more butter. Breast milk latte? Antoine, you shouldn't have. My readers? What are you talking about? Looking at this guy and thinking he's a food reviewer. <laughs> this man is mad. I'm gonna put the zombie stew on a, a spinning platter and camera's gonna go crazy editing. This guy sounds like fucking Bender. Man, the uh, knife was just like a blob because it was like blown out. Yeah. Bloom. Lighting. No, the only time Bloom was good is in Oblivion because it looks like shit, but it it it's, it fits the nostalgic image of it. Yeah, I'm going around. Get the chop. Oh, that's not the chop. <laughs> oh, it just DC'd. Wait, really? Oh. Oh, God. <gasps> Net code's not good enough, or not big enough for the two chucks. Your stuff's in the kitchen. Back yep. there, you see it. Okay, he tried to throw a fucking frying pan at you, but it bounced off of the thing and then hit me. No. Fuck off! Come Billy? here, Antoine. This guy's covered in blood. -a. Blood. Blood. -a. Don't worry, it's just Polonese. Not that, his that, hand. Yeah, that, no, now it's just the raid too. Oh, this is okay. For those of you who don't know, in the movie The Raid Two, uh, there, there's this this one particular fight at like a cafe or whatever, and uh, the dude just holds a dude's face down on the grill, and it's. Very disturbing. I was just left without remembering the fucking person back here. <laughs> who's who's got the worst like complaining whine in the entire game? <laughs> she really does. Also, why did it make me drop my dive gloves? I didn't cause shit, lady. I got you. I'm gonna burn your face off. You don't have to worry about um, your identity being ruined <laughs> for having involvement with this chef. I don't know where I was going with that. Where's Jasper? Do you remember where Jasper is? Yeah, he's he's right above. Right, right up, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, up, up there. At Lombardi's. Oh. Uh oh. I'm doing a dance. I'm not going to. Oh, God. Oh, so God. Oh, I'm oh, on the Jasper. wrong side of the fucking food court. Hello. <laughs> I'm by all the large barrels. I'm, I'm acting the fool like Donkey Kong up here. Uh, do you want to call Jasper to you? Keep close. They have been called. All right. This is, I'm going to go grab this fucking gun. Don't we have to go back? Well, uh, <laughs> I said, don't we have to go back? <laughs> like, shunting off the responsibility of doing that myself? <laughs> yeah, Jasper, come on. Get over here. <laughs> do I need to, like, kick him off the fucking... <laughs> Oh, where, did he, doing? where did he 
Oh no. He just stood up above Speedy Expresso and won't won't make the, the plunge. Stick with me. You son of a bitch. Alright, I just told him to get down Jasper. here like that, but No, I kept on I I've been calling him and calling him. Oh, oh he's floating. Oh, he's oh. behind Hungry Joe's. Jasper, you motherfucker. We're Look, if you don't get down here, Cinda's gonna die. It's gonna be your responsibility. You fuck. I can boot to the head to this guy. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, you're here. All right. What 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 do we need to do? We need to coddle you. Stick to me. There we go. I was just fucking floating there. <laughs> I just keep hearing Cindy yell. Like, bitch, hello. shut up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then we walk over. She's like, I'm not moving a fucking inch. You idiot. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here and scream. <laughs> I look, uh, found an him. open walk in cooler. Yeah, God, it's like it's a it. it's a goddamn wonder there's not fifty zombies crowded into this little room. To be honest, with all that yelling, you know, I know a thing or two about walking freezers, and uh, I don't think this one's wired yeah. up right because that that thing's been uh, open for several minutes and it's not letting off an alarm. Let people know it. I gave fucking Jasper the door. a heated pan like a bro. Now, uh, do we just go to Code Blue and just take these fucking idiots with us? Bring back the fucking crew. Sure. Uh, there's some excellent music in that Italian restaurant. I just fat heard some zombie. insane. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> it's a fat ass zombie performing operatic fucking tenor. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is tenor the low one? I thought it was baritone. <laughs> Well, baritone is like super low. I think oh, okay. tenor is like the the reasonable range for singing, and baritone is like only in barbershop quartet or whatever. I think he was. I think I just saw Pablo was that. Was Pavarotti a tenor or was he a soprano? A pasta. Pavarotti, yeah, it's the the pasta that's served it with with clams. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, this, this one, okay, no, yeah. It's... Jasper, get what? Uh, it's because this guy, this guy is trying to save him. Tim Duggan. Thank God it's not Tim Higgins. <sighs> On probation for doping. <laughs> Apple a day. <laughs> Send the dough. <laughs> What is Jasper doing? Is he being grabbed or is he just chilling? His dumbass is literally just chilling in the middle of a bunch of zombies. I think this oh, dude's oh the yeah. ringleader. I gave him a hot pan. He's he's fine. Okay, everyone's here. Faster. Cinda, what the fuck? Oh, uh, yeah, this. Yeah, let it sing. I'm in the mood for a burger now. I couldn't really uh, tell you why. You know, <laughs> fun fact, I'm just going to make this about myself because I'm a little narcissistic little fuck. Uh, I, I got chilies the other day because I was just like, oh, yeah. like, you know, it's been a long ass day. I just want some good ass food. Now, I was trapped True. between the burger or the chicken Cajun pasta. And I, 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 I had more of the stories I went with the, the chicken Cajun pasta and it was really fucking good. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have made that choice. But that's just because I'm thinking about burgers after singeing many zombie face and all the, the ground beef i was providing for free with uh making <laughs> yeah, their heads go piling quack. it up on the ground just gotta pick the bullets out <laughs> yeah you know it's fine no, the, 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 the metal fragmentation just adds a nice richness a nice texture flavor all right who's getting in all right spend let's hopefully go i'm not getting run over <laughs> yeah hopefully the, the car is never going center of gravity again oh god yeah. 
should probably like be doing the work to clear out the zombies as I'm running away from the survivors that are still yeah you know back here. I don't do that like this whole time <laughs> I just like I'll like you know maybe clear like a pile with the blambo you or know, something this is me being dead rising one pilled you couldn't not do that in that game yes yeah, it's, it's kind of insane just like how much better the survivor AI was just you know one sequel later but then again that was yeah. a forward because the Dead Rising 1 come out 2006 uh, or no maybe 2008 yeah. I don't think it was a launch title yeah it definitely but wasn't it, a launch title but you know what no maybe 2006 or 7 because that would have been the the time frame in which I was playing it at that that old friend's house <laughs> makes sense yeah but yeah just like you know, like three, four years later, like, damn, we, we got to figure it out now. And this guy's eyes are bugging out of his fucking skull. All, all I know is by the time summer of 2008 rolled around and I had money saved up to buy an Xbox 360 finally, Dead Rising was the first game I purchased when I did that. So I was well aware of the game at that point. So I, I think like 2006 actually makes sense. Right, I guess do we just do we just go do uh, the ticket to ride now. Sure. Hey, man, like. You know, I won't sugarcoat it. All right. You know, maybe as a, you know, middle school child, you know, very uh, spoiled or whatever, <laughs> very upper middle class. <laughs> uh, I remember, I remember getting a 360, like not at launch, but soon after. And I remember having like, uh, like Call of Duty 2, Perfect Dark Zero and Condemned. Oh. I, I had that fucking like uh, two bangers and Perfect Dark Zero. <laughs> Sure, yeah. But uh, more in line with Dead Rising. So I had... I, I, th I think I'm usually pretty lucky when it comes to, like, electronics equipment surviving around me, right? Like, I don't really have that many issues with, like, systems, like my PlayStations or whatever. I think, honestly, I've had the worst absolute luck with Xboxes as a whole. Huh. I think I, mean, I it was prone to red ring and shit like yes. that. Just infamously. Yeah, because I think I went through about maybe like five 360s over Damn. like my middle school and high school years. It was like literally one of them, we, you know, it red ringed and like, you know, we went through the process, like, you know, return it and get a new one. Mm -hmm. That Xbox red ringed by the end of the day. Jesus. Like it, it was fucking wild. And I remember yeah. my brother was playing Command and Conquer 3 on the Xbox 360. <laughs> uh, and it was the, the Halo 3. I believe it was Halo 3. It could have been Reach. Uh, it, was, it was a limited edition Xbox 360. I, it was, it, I, it uh -oh. may have been 3. But, but yeah, that one also, like, Red Wing, he was playing Command and Conquer 3. And so I remember, like, him, like, going to send his unit into the fog of war. That all of a sudden, like, it just started getting, like, really, like, blocky. Like, there's, like, a lot of, like, red, like, artifacts going on. that it just fucking oh, wow. broke. It was fucking awful. I never experienced any artifacting like that. Yeah, I mean, I had the opposite of, ex of an experience with the Xbox 360. I had an Xbox 360 from 2008. Um, and then there was, like, a storm that happened where a lightning bolt struck a nearby tree. And only then did my Xbox power supply start flashing a red light. But, uh, you know, after replacing the power supply and the Xbox just to be safe, um, yeah, I never had any issues <laughs> ever. It was, it was a lightning bolt that took out my first Xbox. And even then it was probably fine. It was just a power supply that had an issue. <laughs> I remember the, the original Xbox, uh, I had two, I went through I had two in total. I remember the first one, like, it just kind of, like, stopped working one day, and we're just like, oh, like, there's still a disc in there. Like, let's get it out. And, like, we went to go, like, open up the disc drive again. Oh, like, no. and, like, the, like, you just started smelling, like, the electric, like, the magic smoke, basically. Oh, and we're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, that was creepy as shit. And then even with, like, the Xbox Ones, uh, if you remember, I had that, yeah. that Gears of War series, that, or yeah. not Series S, Xbox One S. Stupid fucking naming schemes. Yes. And, uh, yeah, the, the fucking hard drive on that went... Is what I'm right. like finally saying was the, the cause of that. But yeah. yeah. Xboxes, man. I still have my first Xbox One that you gave me your store discount to buy so we could play Dead Rising 3, literally. Yeah. So so my my only purchases of Xboxes were guided by the existence of a Dead Rising title. 
So um, you hear that, Microsoft? If you want your console generation to survive, you better be releasing Dead Rising 5, but good. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, what uh, the fucking Capcom. The Crapcom. No, it's Microsoft's problem. Oh, actually, yeah, I know. Yeah, it is. Because, well, um, Dead Rising 3, was Dead Rising 3 a launch title? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let me see if you fucking walk up and just grab him. God, he <laughs> he's 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 chiding him about using a, a mask. <laughs> this, oh, are you pussy wearing a mask <laughs> in this day and age? TK. If Pierce wasn't so busy trying to <laughs> market the Saints with Saints Flow, he would have uh, gone down this route. Chucky, you made it out. Saints Row protagonist being an anti-masker. That's <laughs> insane. At least I would have went out with a uh, bang. Oh, I wish I had a gun. <laughs> Realizing this, this, uh, I'll, this I'll drop mission. you a shotgun. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I got a pistol. I can. I'll just. I'll use up my pistol and pick up a Merc assault rifle, and then hopefully by then one of my like eight weapons that I have on my belt are. You know what? I don't need this fucking pan. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Shoot the kneecaps. Shoot the kneecaps. What is this game before? I wouldn't know. I still haven't played that game. Big Dead Rising fan over here. <laughs> Do the job. Let's go. Damn it, TK. It's a defining title that I say inspires me to be... A fan of video games, not saying the word gamer. I can't do it. Oh god. There is some insane Z fighting on that model of my character. Well, this is some classic slapstick comedy. Never mind. Can I put in the wheels, you Chucky? He literally slapped him with a stick. What do you mean, never mind? <laughs> he didn't go cartoonish enough with it. He didn't put he it didn't, in the spokes. He didn't go Indiana Jones with it. If he tried to do that, that would have just not worked, and he would have been like, damn, as the guy rides off. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CG. Oh, this 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 is not going to work online. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> just watch you slam into a wall. Yeah! Ow! Okay, that's... <laughs> I made that jump. So my you were just like before. in between the wall and the fucking trade. I like how when you go off a ramp, you just need a speed boost because <laughs> that's how physics works, I guess. Yeah. Well, they need you to get onto the train with the boost, so. God, the screen shake is a little absurd. Also, yeah. uh, okay, uh, ah! Google, play Vacant Lies by Kenta Nakata instead of whatever the fuck oh, this song fuck is. Yeah. I could go for some. Uh, vacant lives. Maybe we should revisit Shout that game. To 1080. Yes, please. Instead of just corrupting yeah. the hell out of it, actually playing it. Who would have thunk? Especially because we have those fucking N64 controllers, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, mine isn't PC compatible. Oh, you didn't like about the controller. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm a fool. Yeah, I should probably get that if it's still available. I mean, if it's not, I'm sure there are probably like better options, maybe, that aren't... Uh... There we go. Yeah. I don't remember how much mine was, but not necessarily <laughs> The cheap. cloud lifter of controller use. $150 adapter. Hey, Sup, bitches? <laughs> this is so much time they could have been spent unloading their magazines yeah. into my chest. Oops. Oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> oh, right, Mark. I always like love how ridiculous, like the delay on the sniper rifle can be sometimes. Oh yeah. Like, there ain't no bullet travel in Dead Rising 2. Don't fucking lie to me. Oh. <laughs> I punched a guy, and like... Okay. 
So all of a sudden, yeah. just a little like thing cloud after like wait for player for like half a second, so it's like <laughs> aired out. <laughs> so, how are my, I just are my pockets not full of Merc assault rifles, TK? Why are you doing a slow clap walkout? Fucking idiot. If Dead Rising was made in this day and age, all these glaring errors wouldn't be present, clearly. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be over-scrutinized on fucking Twitter.com. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Even though that's, like, that's the, the vibe is supposed to be. Or not not necessarily supposed to be, but the vibe being B-movie is very good. Like, this is just a best of the worst movie, especially the no recoil on the side shot of that, yeah. on that gun. That's just good. It's, this is like playing a Neil Breen movie. That's what you want. <laughs> like how the train's still just going, you can just see in the background the train's still going, Chuck's just like, fuck, he just got away. <laughs> Chuck. He, he didn't even answer the phone. <laughs> just deedly little Chuck. Shut up, Stacy. It was TK. He's the one behind this outbreak. Show? Yeah. He was moving equipment using the trains, but I have no idea what it's for. He's up to something. Something big. This isn't over yet. Uh, Chuck, I can't hear you. You're not talking directly into the receiver. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Are you still wearing that stupid mask over your mouth? I can't I can't hear a damn thing. You talking about Stacy. <laughs> I quack myself up. That is one PJ way to grip a key. Responsible. Yeah, that's gripping it like a pistol. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I spawned in with your lightsaber in me. Yeah, deal with it, punk. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Here, okay, so we just got a save and continue prompt. Uh, God, uh, how do we deal with uh, your inventory salute or your inventory problems here? Um, I just restock next time we play. Okay, well, are, are there... Any guns uh, that you really you would just like to keep. I have, I have two knife gloves, two spiked bats, two lightsabers, two Merc assault rifles. You know what I'm saying? That shit can be can be recuperated, no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I have, I have two slots if you want to like just keep two things. Nope. Well, maybe the gambling magazine, but um. Oh, you know what? Drop that lightsaber. I'll, I'll keep a knife glove and I'll keep a full Merc assault rifle. I take it we're done then. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we, we hit the hour mark. Okay. We, we can, it'll, uh, it'll take well, another 12 hours to... I guess we should... Well, it's, okay, we saved and continue, but we just did that, so I guess we gotta go find another save point real quick. So we're not done yet, actually. Oh, no kidding. We, we gotta go find another save point. How am right? I gonna survive without my extra weapons? I don't know. We're, 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 we're just gonna die, probably. Damn. I'm also glad that, like, since we started recording, the, uh, the wind has only, like, blown once, maybe. So I didn't mm -hmm. have to change my microphone. For better wind uh, protection. Oh yeah, the bathroom's this way, I think, right? Yeah, because that's the statue, and that's where the bathroom is. And that zombie fell. I got that sheriff in here trying to lunch someone. Oh my god, yeah. Got about that fucking guy. Save it again. Ooh, all right, and that's, that's going to about do it for this session. We can finally uh, get our affairs in order, such as airflow. And uh, soon the Mercs are one-handed, I guess. Uh, look, look at that. Look at that recoil, Chucky. Only one bullet, like, not in the same line. That's just a fucking straight-ass line of bullets. Good, good shit. Ow, my skull. <laughs> Ow, my spleen. What? My tibia. Ow. My tibia. I lost some <laughs> four edges. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Rise 2. Until uh, next time, I'm Trantia. And I'm Mike Mega. Get drunk, Chucky.